And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Abzan Hero. We're going to be playing this deck over in Ranked. This is maybe my favorite standard deck right now. And if I'm able to play the Mythic Championship uh, qualifier this weekend, which you know we'll have to see. Um, but this is, this is probably uh, the favorite right now for me to play either this or like the Abzan Rampage, but kind of tune that to be a little bit more of a... A little bit more, um, uh, I don't uh, competitive, I guess. But anyway, yeah, I really like this deck. Um, basically, like what Abzan has is a, like you know, for looking at either of them. But Abzan has a lot of really good interaction. You know, like Dispark, Oath of Kaya, Mortify, Assassin's Trophy. Uh, these are all really good interaction spells. The thing, like the sh the shell of this deck, that's really strong. Yeah, you know, we have Hero of Precinct one that can make some some tokens, um, but really what um, which you know is is very good. But we have Kethis the Hidden Hand, which this is you know basically like a Kethis deck, and Kethis is just awesome, making our legendary spells cost one less for all of these, and being able to replay the legendary spells from our graveyard. Um, but it's also just a Golgari Queen deck. It's kind of like like that's kind of like the the central core of the deck, or like those three cards, Golgari Queen is is awesome in this format because of all of the different permanents that cost three or less where you get to play golgari queen minus destroy any of those kind of permanents the plus two you don't always have extra permanents that you want to sacrifice to be able to gain life and draw cards here of precinct one making those extra tokens for you gives you an an outlet of like something to draw or you know something to sacrifice to draw cards also but um but uh, let's see, Midnight Reaper gets us more card advantage, being a really good card. And um, all these cards, Hero Precinct 1, Mid Midnight Reaper, and Kethis all work very well with Soren. If you don't have those cards, Soren's not doing a whole lot for you. That's why we only have one. But Soren is super powerful whenever you get to drop it and uh, bring any of those cards back from your graveyard and still keep it in play. Um, then our top end, we get to play these six mana Planeswalkers that are super powerful. We get four copies. The reason why we're going with two Garricks over two of the any of the others is because of Garrick synergy with Tulsimer. How you can zero Garrick, make two Wolves. If you have Tulsimer in play, you get to trigger Tulsimer's ability twice because of the Wolves. Um, but yeah, we get to play more six mana Planeswalkers because Kethis uh, makes them cost less, and it, it's good to have extra legendary cards in your deck with the other ability of Kethis. And then finally, we have Kenrith, just one of the like one of the strongest cards that uh, allows you to do just. It's just so flexible. It can help you gain a lot of life to stay alive. But then you can also, uh, you know, put your Kethis uh, back into play, you know, from your graveyard with your Kenrith, and then have Kethis recast other stuff like recast Planeswalkers and stuff like that. So you have a really long, uh, a really good late game with this kind of deck. Plus, you so not only do you have a good late game, but you have a really good. Um, life gain, you know, like with Soren gaining life, Othakaya, Tulsimer, Kenrith gaining life, um, your Knight of Autumn, all, all sorts of stuff, uh, good removal. Um, it just kind of all works well together. We also have the Paradise Druids that can add red or blue for the Kenrith if need be. And then sideboard, we get to um, really customize the deck depending on what we're playing against. You know, Kaya Orzov Usurper gives us even more good stuff against Jun Sacrifice. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of aggro recently, so we got an extra Othakaya in here, an extra Legion's End, um, Assassin's Trophy is just, again, a, a good catch-all against everything, against these Fires decks, and against uh, Nightpack Ambusher Nissa decks, the Simic ones. We have four copies of Dispark we get to play, which are just the best card against either of those decks. Um, and then, yeah, just more Knight of Autumn, more Kaya's Wrath if they are aggro, and then even a Thought Distortion for blue-white control. So we get lots of awesome stuff here. really like this deck. All right, we're going to be playing over in Ranked. And let's let's give it a test. Let's see how it does. Usually whenever we struggle it's with this deck, it's kind of like our uh, our mana is tough because we are a three-color deck. So the, like, that's that's the thing is like whenever we're struggling, it's usually like our, you know, too many lands are coming into play tapped, not the right colors, like all that kind of stuff. That's where um, our deck is inconsistent there. Maybe too many shock lands. All 
All right, looks like we got blue-white control, which is my least favorite matchup to play with the deck. It, it's just the games take forever, and... It's not that we can't win. It's not... It's just... It's a huge grind. And... I don't love it. It does seem like every single time I played this deck, I get paired against Blue Eye Control, though. Every time. It's it's honestly maybe the deck I've played against the most with it. Killing the Gadwick so they don't get to pick it back up with the time wipe. You show remorse. I'll let's try this. Sacrifices. This isn't like my best play against Planar Cleansing, but if they play a Planar Cleansing, you know, they tap out, I can resolve Garrick, and then hopefully they don't have a second. So like even, so like we kind of forced them to have a Planar Cleansing, which it turned out they did, but hopefully they don't have a second Planar Cleansing now. That's what I'm hoping here. No castles over there. <laughs> Why'd well, I have to say something? I say no castles over there is, is certainly good for me. <laughs> you cannot run or hide. Hey, plumber. I wonder if I want to... Basically, I'm just trying to think if I want to Assassin's Trophy this Castle Ardvale. Does it give him Trample? Yeah, it does. Okay. So yeah, they had the they had the planar cleansing, but they did not have a second planar cleansing. So obviously Legion's End can go, Dispark can go. Um, we need these duresses and the thought distortion. Um I'm gonna play an extra Oath of Kaya also. I think. Yeah, and then maybe take out Mortify. Mortify. Mortify kills the 3 1 at instant speed. But Othakaya can kill the. Like, basically, you know, they have a 3 1, they have a 3 3, and they have Teferi. And Othakaya can kill all of those, assuming the Teferi minuses. Yeah, oh, the guy is a good Gadwick killer. I don't expect them to side in any enchantments with the planar cleansing being a nece necessity.
But that doesn't mean they won't. But I'm not anticipating that. Also was not really anticipating a Spectral Sailor. To be fair. No, they don't, they don't really play good targets for Knight of Autumn. Because of planar cleansing. Um, that's more like it. Kind of bad. I need to draw two more lands. Like, soon they're going to be time wiping here. Just draw an extra card with the sailor. I need to draw two more lands. What? Why did they just draw a card and then time wipe? They're going to instant speed time wipe? Are you kidding me? Now I get six mana? The problem with Thought Distortion is they only have one other card to take. Do they have Absorb? We are the Apex Predators. I should not let the person untap with the mana creature whenever you're just going to be casting that card anyway. But yeah, they could have just drawn a card and then time wiped instead of deal three damage to me and then time wipe. And also let me know that they have Brazen Borrower. Yeah, we yeah, but it would be good to thought distortion after Gadwick. Gadwick is the only the only thing that like makes thought distortion not so good is is Gadwick. Uh, I should have just activated that first. I don't know why I didn't activate that first. I don't think they were going to have instant speed removal for it, that's why. Thought I was safe. There's no there's no plus on Garrick. Um Hey, Scurio.
So in Thought Distortion first, we got to see the hand, so we had more information. <clears throat> and then before our scry, and then scryed before drawing. Just can't really do anything but zero. Might as well just zero right away. We get rid of we got rid of essence capture to fairy opt opt all right want to know that was like that was probably the fastest match i've ever played against blue eye control honestly garrick did a very good job of ending those games quickly One and O. Oh. After the thought distortion and them just having the two borrowers, I don't they were in a really tough spot. Did not want to draw a second one of the six mana planeswalkers. That's something that seems to happen a lot. It seems like whenever you have one of the six mana planeswalkers, you get a second one, either right away in your opener or um, teamer. The, basically, Oketra... Oketra doesn't see as much play because of just the color white not having the best interaction. Um, Kefnet is so weak to Teferi. To be fair, both both cards are very are pretty weak to Teferi. Being expensive creatures without an ETB effect. Like both creatures are, are really creatures that you have to untap with before they start uh, doing very much for you. I only need two more lands now to, or I only need two more lands to get to these things, but we gotta draw those. The Legion's End was a really clutch draw to get rid of that Edgewall Innkeeper, because obviously they would have drawn millions of cards if it wasn't for that. Yeah, having 30 mana is better than having 3 mana. This game is very over. So 
gonna should play Beanstalk Giant, get two lands, play Love Struck Bees, get two one ones. Uh, we didn't draw any lands. My opponent had triple beanstalk giant and a lucky clover later on to get even more. This is this is a really tough matchup for mid-range decks. This this deck, every single every single card in their deck is a two for one. And their deck does a great job of ramping. And then their deck also had, has Edgewell, Innkeeper, and Lucky Clover that make their cards, you know, three for ones, four for ones. Um, and then they also have Escape to the Wilds, which is just can just be a five for one. Um, it's just you can't you can't upgrind this deck. <clears throat> that's the it's all these adventure cards together. It's the impossible to outgrind it. Thanks, JJ. Well, I said I didn't, you know, I, I was saying I don't love playing against the blue-white control deck, but I didn't say it was necessarily a bad matchup. This here, this is our worst matchup. We're going to take out Trophy because we really can't afford to give them more lands. I don't I don't really think that Kaya's Wrath is really where we want to go because we can't we can't win a long game. So I'm going to be just take I, I also don't think we really need to spark. And so I'm going to play just extra Knight of Autumns and Oath of Kaya's. I think that's the best thing to do. We could play. And then I guess I'll play another Legion's End, where Legion's End can hit, obviously, the Innkeeper, but then also Fae of Wishes, or, you know, just, like, the extra 1-1s one if we want. Thought Distortion doesn't hit anything. All their, like, their deck is all spells, but all those spells are creatures. So Thought Distortion has minimal impact.
get one of those out of here. Oh, did you want the, the previous song? I can get back to this. That was Fiona Apple Criminal. Gotta hope that this is just a land and they draw a land. <clears throat> and then all they can play is one beanstalk giant and I have lethal. Hopefully. Yuck. That was their turn five. Sure. Yeah, I guess we still have a shot. I guess, you know, like Othakaya, we have two of them left. It's going to concede, but then, yeah, I realize, yeah, Othakaya, they are at three. Do that to bounce the Othakaya? Uh, that may have not been the best decision. So I think they kind of are forced to. I don't think they have a choice whenever they cast that. Okay, well, we're not dead yet. We shouldn't be alive, but we're not dead. Well, how you can't. You don't choose all your targets before you choose one target and your thing resolves, and then you choose another target and it resolves, then you choose another target and it resolves. You don't just put all three targets onto the stack right away. Right? But I guess you put the first target on the stack, and then the first copy could target the first thing. So you still could, yeah, so they did not have to bounce it. If they would have targeted the... Yeah, so yeah, they did not have to. Because the first target you still put onto the stack, and then the other ones. Yeah, they didn't need to. Please don't have Beanstalk Giant and Ramp and everything. Just don't have Beanstalk Giant, please.
good. That's not Beanstalk Giant. Boo. More spells. Cool, that spell. No, yeah, they, they definitely did not need to cast that borrower at all. That was certainly unnecessary. Oh, they have another brazen borrower. definitely doing the other part with the third part with Katas also. It's not just the body and the, the cost less. We definitely do the third part also in the late game. We use everything with Katas. You know, like legendary cards go to the graveyard. This Brazen Borrower has made my life a lot worse. 
this game was going really well until the brazen borrower you know either you know bouncing the tulsimer and then drawing an extra or bouncing the tulsimer token and then drawing an extra card after that and then killing the Vraska, and now about to kill the Soren. This Brazen Borrower has been worth so many cards. Interesting. They didn't want to put a third they didn't want to put a third legendary card in my graveyard and let me play something with Kethis. But in that case with them not doing that I get to just keep Soren. Did that just put them dead on board? Don't I just have eleven here? Unless they have they have to have a one mana card. They have to have Love Struck Beast or or Edgewall Innkeeper, because I have I have ten. Yeah, I have ten right here on the battlefield and then Soren tick up. I mean I guess I don't know if they played a land already this turn. No, I have 10, right? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then Soren tick up for 11. I don't think it's 12. Ugh, they did have a Love Struck Beast. Boo. Oh, that was probably not a good attack by them. There's a chance that was not a good attack. Oh, wait, because I can... All right, so I can minus Soren. Oh, that's that's true. I can minus Soren and do three. I figured it out. Because I can just minus one Soren just to put it into the graveyard, and then I can get rid of my Soren and my Vraska and play the Oath of Kaya and deal three to them. Wow, we won that. We had no business winning that. Figured it out. So I could have done 13 damage. If, you know, like whenever I counted up and I said 11, it was actually 13 that I had on there. Can you minus one? Can you minus one sword if you don't have a one drop? Actually, I'm not sure if you can do that. Can you do that? Like, is that a line I could take? Maybe that's not a line I could take. All right. Yeah, y'all are saying probably not. Land. Yay. 
All right, so maybe I couldn't take that line. <laughs> you play like you're solving a puzzle. I play like I have a hand of seven hot potatoes. <laughs> ah, get this out of my hand. Ah. Uh, Bant Pelt Collector. So Bant Adventures. Do I want to use the Legion's End against Bant Adventures? I like Mortify. I think that's a good card, but I would rather hit Land Drop right now. All right, so yeah, I have to have a legal target. Neoform? Okay. All right, well, yeah, got me there. Got me there. This is the problem with trophy. They definitely valued having extra lands. Probably Nissa. Oh no, Zagana. Huh. <laughs> yeah, we beat the adventure deck somehow. Did not seem like we were supposed to. Hmm. Nope, they didn't need more lands. They had plenty. Maybe they'll run out of basics, being a three-color deck and all. Nope. I want some more basics than I'm playing. All right, another game of us having three lands and the opponent have having infinite. Can we win? We got rid of all the stuff we know about, but they have four cards still. Ugh, so many cards. Eight cards in hand. I wish I wouldn't have used the Legion's End on the Paradise Druid and just Othakai at it and then had Legion's End for the Krasis because they drew another Krasis. But yeah, this deck's a little different. Nissa and Teferi. I already don't like my opponent's deck. <laughs> it was cool whenever they had Neoform and Zagana. Now I don't like it anymore. Be wary of the ground 
to walk on. Yep, so close. We can do six, or we can kill the Watley's Raptor and do five. Darn. One point off. So close. Oh, I've done the I should have attacked with more the previous turn. Why do you think my opponent has lethal right now? They attack. I have a blocker. I block the 4-4. I take 9. Like why, why do you think they have lethal right now? Obviously, they could have anything that kills my 1-1 and then have lethal. But they don't right now.
Hmm. So, Pot Collector, Paradise Druid, Zagana. Despark's kind of my anti Nissa card. Legion's End is awesome against Krasis. Trophy is not good against Krasis. No, like giving extra mana with Hydroid Krasis is not a good idea. This could be a Kai's Wrath matchup. I don't want to play Duress also. I'm not sure about like Othakaya. Or if I should play the Legion's End. Alright, we got more than three lands this time. Wait till after uh, Kaya's Wrath to Midnight Reaper, but Midnight Reaper does replace itself, and it does kind of incentivize my opponent to continue to play more threats. I don't know if that was even a good. Uh, I don't know if that was even a good trade for them. Like they just spent. You know, they just spent a neoform and a pelt collector just to turn it into Sorry, a raptor. Yeah, it's not the best Wrath, but with, with us having um, a backup Wrath, it's really what we need to do. Don't worry, I got this. We have no good way to deal with three mana Walker. Do you do you not know what Vraska Golgari Queen is? Rascal Golgari Queen is the perfect card. It's the best card in the entire format to deal with a three mana walker. It's 
if they go to fairy minus, you know, then our Soren could could tick up, you know, like just like uh, just in general, like if you know, like that play pattern happens right now. Obviously, the Teferi is at three loyalty, though. No, I am not making this up as I go. <clears throat> what you want to do? Want Hydrocrasis to die to Othakaya? I really don't want to see Nissa, you know, Nissa attacking Soren. Build. Deputy. After Wizard, thanks for resubbing. I appreciate that. Thirty three awesome months. That's our second sub of the day. Cool, cool. No attacks with Zagana. Oh, they were gonna. Oh, because they can't adapt Zagana anymore. Right, because it already has a counter on him. You weren't fit to survive. Right, it had the counter on it. They couldn't adapt it and put four counters on it. <laughs> wow, no top deck crisis. Must have a crisis bug. <laughs> Should file a report. <laughs> Was very good for me. No, uh, no top deck crisis. No, no, they didn't know about Ugin. But they, I mean, I had, I had uh, Kenrith. It was going to be taken over.
Oh my gosh, I played the wrong land. Played the wrong land. I meant to play the Goblet Shrine so that I could then play the castle. Now I have to shock. That's why I didn't play the temple. It's because I wanted to play the, the land. I don't know. I leave dead bodies wherever I go. Ready to join. If I drew a land, I'd be able to sacrifice a land. I want to play I want to have Kethis Dispark and another Dispark. Hmm. Oh wait, I didn't keep didn't I not keep the other Dispark? Am I crazy? I guess I only have one Dispark. I guess I didn't have one in, in hand before. is necessary. Hmm. It's pretty greedy sacrificing a land, just hoping to draw another one, of course. I am not going to see this. There goes nothing. It's kind of keeping me in the I don't die immediately club though, being at three. I probably should just play Kethis. This isn't isn't looking good. Definitely feel like I messed this whole game up. Like, I really shouldn't be losing this. The turn I played Vraska with the four mana, I think I really need to play the Paradise Druid. Uh, I mean, I can't really... Basically, can I stay alive through another... If they have a third Nissa here this next turn, can I stay alive? And I, I don't think the answer... I mean, I guess they have to have, to have land Nissa. I don't think the answer is yes. So I think I just play Ugin, kill Nissa, and sack a land. I mean, so that they just have a pro proliferate card. Why can't you destroy lands? Its pain is our pain. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm one short from going Kepta's Plessy again. Um... Raska can't kill lands. I'd be pretty busted if Raska could kill lands. I was way too confident this game, and I did not play very well. Ooh, did not get punished. Yeah, Kaiser could kill that 3 3. I think they're gonna have like anything to do uh, two damage to me right now. I think we're safe. Safe with shocking in there. Okay. Three and oh. That was very close. Very, very close. Yep, we're playing some standard. Demise there where you're ranking up in standard with abs and hero. Yeah, that was a great match. GG's there, Dark Heart. Very close. I played that third game too casually, and you almost got me. Those Nissas. You got a lot of damage in there. It almost got me. GG's. I liked your deck except for... I really didn't like a Boreal Grazer, but I guess a Boreal Grazer is better with Neo Forum. Hey Jack. Gutter bones. I don't think I need allegiance on gutter bones. And Nexus Roy. Getting the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, J Jack, what's what's your list? That's a lot of lands. Well, I have a bunch of stuff I can't cast, but I guess it doesn't matter. The opponent concedes. All right, we need to trim down at some of this top end. I mean, honestly, I guess we just take out all the six mana walkers. And the Midnight Reaper. And then we don't need these to Sparks. Um, maybe I'll play like one six mana walker. Or just play another Knight of Autumn. Yeah, probably just play another Knight of Autumn. 
All right, here we go. Yeah, so I, I still have ways to kill Embercleave. I have two Knight of Autumns and the three Assassin's Trophies. So basically, you know, like with having Trophy, we don't really need to spark. If we want something for Ember, Embercleave. <laughs> Rakdos lands looks pretty bad. Okay, there's the list there, JJ. JJ. Abs and Knights. Um, let's go here, go here. Thanks, Darkheart. Thank you. I made some mistakes the game three. I will admit I was I did not play that play that much too casually whenever I was very far ahead after wrathing. Hmm. My best play is Hero of Precinct One. The problem with playing Hero Precinct 1 is they could stomp it. But then, if, even if they stomp it, I think I'd rather save Othakaya for the 4-3 anyway. Sure. Oh yeah, I've. I used to, yeah, I used to uh, do the whole tournament stuff. But now, stay at home stream. Let's see. I guess I'm gonna be Othakaiing this fervent champion. Or not. Or not. I'll just pass. I, I kind of keep on ex expecting Black Blacklands Paragon and just not showing up. Chilling with a bunch of removal spells over there, looks like. I need this Kenrith not to get killed. That was a great draw. Wherever I go, I guess today is your lucky day. We're gonna keep Assassin's Trophy available. And just hold back. I don't really need to attack. I don't mind if they use another Murderous Rider on the Golgari Queen as much, because I I want them not to have Murderous Riders left for Kenrith. Add seven six.
Any grass rampage? No. All right, so likely, likely Blacklands Paragon. If they didn't do anything else, like so, they wanted to give that Death Touch, and they want me to attack with the Kenrith and then block with the Blacklands Paragon. I'm gonna be returning these heroes. Yep. They had to play it because, you know, they'd have to discard it to Rotting Regisaur. So they just have, like, Embercleave? I think... I think people just don't really know about Kenrith's plus one, plus one counter ability. So I basically always assume that they just make bad attacks. I also have to assume I... Because they basically always do. All right, 4-0. We need one more win to get to the next level. <laughs> Final boss. Yeah, Adam, right, right underneath you. That Did you not click on that link to the deck? You did the exclamation point deck and the link came up. Yeah, Kenrith is super, super strong. It is better than Tristani. Go, Paradise Druid, go. Thanks, Demiser. No, I just do the, the final boss playlist whenever we get there with the, um, whenever we're doing our leagues and stuff. Vampirics! Getting this up. Thank you so much there, QQ. QQ gifting out a sub. Thank you. I do not have lands, though. Why would they not attack with Stormfist Crusader? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Need Crusader back on D. No, I mean, we're going to lose this because I only have two lands, but... There's no excuse not attacking with Crusader there. I thought about I thought about not playing the Paradise Druid and then just hold, being able to hold up this spark for Embercleave. But we are gonna be dead anyway. So 61. This is me putting in the third Night of Autumn also.
let's play two. Yeah, definitely, Jay Jack. Definitely. I kind of hate this. Assassin's Trophy is very good. Turns five, turn like five on, you know, like just being a, a good removal spell at that point. You really don't want to play Assassin's Trophy on turn two. Come on. Well, this five card hand could be better than that seven. Seven didn't do anything forever. Hmm. Should have played the castle. I mean, honestly, this five card hand probably is better than that seven. <clears throat> we can do stuff before turn five with our three land hand. Down to 11. Okay, we are going to need spells. spells. Spell. Spell. That doesn't work, bud. Gutter Bones is a skeleton warrior. Discard Ember Cleave. Darn. I 
So I'm, I'm not playing the Paradise Druid because we're just going to activate Castle Iron Veil instead. Put the Gutter Bones back in your hand, and then discard it. As long as they don't draw Embercleave, we're looking just fine here. That's not how that card works. Still doesn't work like that. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been dead to Ember Cleave like this entire time. That token is legendary. I need to get that out of here to be able to cast Tulsimer. I really like to be able to get a new one. This is bad. That's bad. Because now they get to sit back with Castle. So, like, that forces me to attack because Castle puts me back to being dead to Emma Cleave again. You draw a trophy to destroy this castle. Hmm. 
Please don't draw Embercleave. Well, I guess it is difficult to activate Castle because of Rotting Regisaur. That's true. So they would have just castled it end step. They would have just discarded it. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? <sighs> so 16 damage. 3, 4, 5, 6. I can go down. That still puts me to 10. Or that still does 10 and kills me. Come on. Even if I if I activate Castle and block with the uh, the extra one one, I'd still be dead. Come on. Seriously, oh, I played that so well to get back into it. I mean, I could have, I could have just cast the Kai's Wrath. I was hoping to be able to wait a little bit, but that was, I was dead to that one card. You know, I was dead to that card for a very long time. Uh, yeah, that was, that was the one card they could draw on their deck, that would have had them win that. I feel like we could have got more out of the wrath though and you know if i if i do play the wrath you know then I, then all i'm looking at is like castle to protect against you know anything i don't i mean obviously they drew that so i should you know playing the kaya's wrath i would not have been dead right then but we're basically if i would have played the, the kaya's wrath and they draw the ember cleave i'm still dead to like just the next creature they draw anyway I don't regret not playing it. It wasn't 20 cards, it was like 7 cards. Um, but yeah, I need I needed to draw a trophy for instant speed removal or you know, just just some other other good cards. Anything to to kill the 7/6. A Kenrith. A Vraska, a Soren, would have done it. Mortify. Oh well, we didn't. <clears throat> oh, if you're talking about since like the well, no, Gabo. So if you if you're talking about like if you're including their opening hand, they would have had to if their last card was Ember Cleave, they would have had to discard it to Rotting Regisaur a long time, but earlier if they had in their opening hand they would have actually had to discard the ember cleave at least after they played the rotting register because remember they had to discard the last card and i was hoping it was them discarding ember cleave anyway yeah this is still this is this is like my favorite deck here in standard as far as ranking up i really like this deck i think it's very versatile it has a lot of great removal you can play an aggro game you can play a control game uh you know it's just a really good mid-range deck with a lot of really good stuff um our matches there were really close. We won two really close ones, and we lost that last one that was really close. So we we were playing a lot of very close games. Uh, you know, like the, all three of those could have gone the other way. You know, like we had two two wins that were pretty uh, pretty substantial wins, and then we had three really close games that you know we we won two of the three. We could have lost two of the three. They were they were all close. Uh, could have won them all. Could have lost them all. Uh, yeah, but as in here, this deck's awesome. All right, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, I uh, hope you like the deck as well. Um, like I said, this is if I do get to play in the Mythic Championship qualifier, which it doesn't look like it, but if I am able to this weekend, uh, this would be the deck that I'd most likely be playing. Um, and kind of fits fits my play style. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's Abzan Hero. So yeah, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. I'd appreciate all of that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.